The course objectives today, um, we're going to be talking about the introduction to clinical research data management and looking at the processes and the rationale. And as you may already know, there are a significant number of processes involved in data management. We'll also identify our role in the sponsor and um, the whole uh, CRO clinical team as far as study conduct is concerned. We'll talk about protocol design and development process and, and where data management might fit into that scheme. We'll look at the CDM startup activities and the documentation that will accompany that. Talk about case report form design, data tracking, collection, data entry, and capture. I have had some significant experience, obviously, in paper, but right now where I am, we do 100% EDC, which is very exciting for me after all this time. So we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Looking at data review, validation, and queries, because this is an intense part of the study setup for data managers, and it's basically uh, the most uh, robust part of our setup uh, because it helps us get that clean deliverable of database at the end of the study. I'm going to speak a little bit about the rationale of the MedRa Dictionary. Although most of us in data management don't do medical coding so much anymore, there might be a specialized team that will be handling that, but it's still important for data managers to understand the rationale on how uh, we should recommend that adverse events be captured. And of course, the, the moment of, of truth for most data managers is the database lock and the release of the database to biostatistics. We'll talk about a little bit about adverse event reporting and the reconciliation, especially SAE reconciliation with the safety database, and then some suggestions that you might want to pursue for future study. 